this is not a drill. Our house is on fire. Since before I was born, scientists and frontline communities have been warning the world about the catastrophic events that would take place if we didn't have a come to Jesus moment about our over reliance on fossil fuels. Meanwhile, the same companies producing those fossil fuels run a course to deny climate change, deny climate science, and buy off politicians, and use any strategy possible, regardless of morals or ethics, to continue their path of destruction, knowing exactly what the outcome would be. This climate crisis disproportionately affects black people, indigenous peoples, and people of color. It affects the air we breathe, it affects the water we drink, it affects our neighborhoods, our lands, our health. We know that environmental justice, racial justice, and economic justice all go hand in hand because this crisis will affect every facet of our lives. But the youth of today, future leaders of tomorrow, the people that will inherit this earth, this overexploited land and environment that they are choosing to leave us behind, are paying attention. We'll be watching to see how the SRP board votes next week. We'll be watching for data and facts to come to light. And we'll continue to show up and speak out because our house is on fire. 520 people died from heat, both indoors and outdoors, in 2020 in Arizona. As of August 28th, there have been 113 confirmed heat-related deaths and heat-associated deaths in Maricopa County alone, with an additional 164 deaths under investigation so far this year. Our AC season starts earlier and goes later every year, the result of a worsening climate crisis. It is a matter of life and death. Our house is on fire. I'm just beginning my adult life I'm a college student at ASU. I care about my family, my friends, my community, the earth, and the rest of the world. We're watching the climate crisis unfold daily right before us. Evacuations due to wildfires here, people losing their lives in basement apartments through the flooding there. Our house is on fire and we need SRP to care. Our house is on fire, yet SRP executives would rather pitch profit over people. Our house is on fire, yet the majority of SRP board members seem complacent. Our house is on fire, yet this major utility is proposing a nearly $1 billion spend on a greenhouse gas that is critical to curb and reduce over the next decade. Our house is on fire, and it is SRP's responsibility to help put it out not to light another match. Thank you.